Do you have tennis elbow from playing tennis? In this video, I'm going to explain what tennis elbow is, the importance of proper tennis stroke technique, and give you seven pro tips to help prevent and relieve your tennis elbow. Coming up. What's cracking? It's Dr. Neville, aka Dr. Ginger Ninja. If we haven't met before, I'm a sports chiropractic physician, USPTA tennis pro, and medical director at Sport and Spinal Rehab in Jupiter, Florida. On this channel, I explain different types of injuries and the treatments needed to eliminate your pain and get you back in the game. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And at any point in this video, check out the description below for more information. With that being said, let's get into the swing of things. Tennis elbow is a common term for lateral epicondylitis, which is a repetitive stress injury that creates inflammation to your wrist extensor tendons at the forearm and elbow. About 50% of tennis players will develop tennis elbow at some point while playing, but almost no college or professional tennis players have tennis elbow. Why? Because the best players have had thousands of hours of instruction on proper technique and rarely get tennis elbow which leads me into tip number one, practice good tennis technique. I included technique as tip number one because bad technique will destroy your body. The number one cause of tennis elbow is not following through while serving or hitting ground strokes, especially the forehand. When recreational tennis players are afraid to hit the ball out, they abbreviate their stroke and never follow through. When you follow through the ball, your large shoulder and back muscles are used to decelerate the racket head. But if you stop your swing, the little muscles in your forearm and elbow now have to decelerate all that inertia of the racket. After doing this over and over, it creates a repetitive stress to those tendons, creating inflammation and ultimately tennis elbow. The same thing happens while serving if you don't follow through all the way to your hip. All that racket head speed generated has to decelerate with your wrist extensor muscles. If this is you, try following through on your ground strokes and serves. To speed up the learning curve, I recommend taking a few private lessons from your local USPTA tennis pro. USPTA certified tennis pros have advanced training to teach stroke technique preventing tennis elbow. Tip number two, choose a flexible racket. Many beginner players buy rackets that are more powerful. This power is usually generated by stiffer frames with less flex. These powerful stiff frames can create shock and impact which is translated up your arm to the elbow. Use a forgiving frame that has some flex to alleviate stress in your arm. Tip number three, use a heavier racket. This may seem counterintuitive, but a heavier racket with a little more mass can help absorb shock and resist torquing in your hand as you make contact with the ball. However, don't go overboard with this and get carried away. While a heavy racket can help tennis elbow, where the weight is positioned is extremely important, which leads me into tip number four. Use a headlight racket. Using a racket with the majority of the weight close to your hand will make it easier to maneuver, especially at the net. Head heavy rackets are harder to move and will aggravate your tennis elbow if your technique is bad and you're not following through the ball. Tip number five, relax your grip. Beginner tennis players are notorious for gripping the racket too tightly. Squeezing the grip too hard creates contraction of your arm muscles and limits the natural range of motion. Replace your grip often and hold the racket just firmly enough so you have control of the racket without it twisting or flying out of your hand. You may also want to try a larger grip size. Using a racket with too small of a handle makes it hard to grip the racket. Tip number six, restring often with less tension. Just because your strings aren't broken doesn't mean they're still good. If you have tennis elbow, you should restring your racket every two to three months, depending on how often you play. When you have your racket restrung, string your racket at the lower end of the recommended tension. Looser strings create more of a trampoline effect, which leads to more power with less effort. Tip number seven, use a softer, thinner string. 
Using thinner 17 or 18 gauge string with an open string pattern gives you more space in between the strings, making for a softer string bed with less impact on your elbow. If you get arm pain playing tennis, try using a softer multi-filament string like Wilson NXT or Natural Gut. They are softer and more flexible to absorb shock, protecting your arm from tennis elbow. So there they are. Those are my seven pro tips to help relieve and prevent tennis elbow. But as I said before, technique is the absolute most important out of all these tips. But hey, have you ever had tennis elbow and found something that really helped? Drop a comment below and let everyone know. Thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful and you'd like to see more, smash that like button, subscribe, and let's swing over to the next video.